How's it going everyone? This is Mark with Veg doing the Veg Out number three for the Fall Buddy Growers. I'm gonna try and get a better angle over here. Um, if you guys hear anything, that's me uh, trying to close the hose valve until I can uh, show you guys uh, how much water this tomato is uh, really sucking down. So this Oregon tomato is getting huge. Um, you guys can probably already see some tomatoes coming in. Um, they grow from those yellow flowers. Uh, a lot of the summer members uh, know that now. Um, but let's see if we can get in here and just see how much water. You can see there's only a couple inches left. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up to that overflow hole. Uh, and we're gonna do that every week. Um, we might need to start doing that once or twice a week. Um, you can see compared to this rainbow chard here, um, using significantly less, oh, there's my finger, significantly less water. Um, and you can see the plant difference size from, uh, or the plant size difference from this chard to, uh, to this tomato. Um, there we go. I don't know why that was blurry for a second. Um, and then the herbs. So the herbs are actually getting kind of shaded from these plants. So we're gonna pull them out uh, so they get a little more sunlight. Uh, throughout the day, but they are doing awesome. You can see the oregano is kind of taking over. Uh, the chives are getting big. Uh, we started to use some of them, and this fern leaf dill is uh, getting kind of lanky. You can see it starting to grow taller and taller. Uh, and we'll show you guys how much water they're using. So around the same amount as the rainbow chard over here. You can see they're kind of similar size. Uh, the rainbow chard a little bit bigger, but this Oregon tomato is just going nuts. It's huge. Um, and so as these tomatoes develop, let's see if we can get it. Uh, they're going to use more and more water um, the bigger they get. Uh, a lot of people have asked about staking these up and asked about this in summertime. Uh, we use a determinate type that's like a bush variety. Um, so these type are actually adapted uh, to grow uh, without any support, um, but a lot of people do like supporting them, which is great. Uh, it just ensures that if there is wind or uh, anything like that, or if the fruit gets too big, that the plant doesn't uh, break. So here, I'll show you guys this first. This is just like a simple bamboo pole that you can use. Uh, we got, I think this one just at like a local hardware store. And we're gonna put it in near, so you guys can see the main stock of the tomato. So we're just gonna push that into the cocoa fiber and give the plant a little more support uh, running centrally through the plant. Uh, alternatively, you guys can use just like a typical garden stake from Home Depot or Lowe's um, and do the same thing. So again, we just put that straight in um, through the kind of central area of this tomato plant uh, and it gives it a little more support. So if it is windy, um, the plant will stay upright. And if it does start to produce fruit when these tomatoes get bigger, um, you can kind of see it, uh, the plant doesn't fall over completely. So it gives it a little more support. You can see I'm kind of tugging on it to mimic wind uh, or weight. Um, so again, this thing is, uh, this thing, this hose is ready to, to fill this guy up uh, with some more water. Um, looks like it needs a lot. And we're gonna go ahead and top off the other two buddies. Um, and again, these yellow flowers, this is where the tomatoes are gonna start producing from. Um, if you guys have any questions, let us know. We haven't seen any butterflies this week, so we haven't sprayed. Uh, and no signs of caterpillars yet. Uh, no holes in the plants, uh, no caterpillar droppings. So uh, we are not spraying right now. But if you guys do see signs of caterpillars or you do see those butterflies flying around, please keep on spraying um, the uh, BT organic bug spray. Um, doesn't hurt to give it a mist. Again, do it on the undersides of leaves. That's where caterpillars are gonna be. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, use the email below, help at growveggiestoday.com. Uh, super excited to see pictures from everybody. It looks like everybody's doing awesome. And we'll give you guys a, a quick peek of the hub growers uh, doing a lot of romaine and using a lot of salad greens. Um, really excited to see what those acorn squash do. But in the meantime, this tomato is just going nuts. We're really, really excited about this. Uh, all right, we will talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.